go. Greetings, I'm Dr. Bob LaPerriere, the curator of the Museum of the Sierra Sacramento Valley Medical Society. And uh, at this point, we're going to introduce you to the iron lung. The iron lung was a unit that was used to provide breathing capabilities for people, particularly those affected with polio. Now, there's only probably about 12 of these in public display in the United States today, but there were thousands and thousands in use in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s before the days of polio immunization. Uh, there's two varieties of polio. The type most people are familiar with is the one that causes paralysis of arms or legs, and you see kids in wheelchairs and with crutches. But the other version is bulbar polio that affected basically the base of the brain and prevented the ability to breathe by paralyzing the respiratory muscles, which are the diaphragm, which is right down at the bottom of the chest cavity above the abdomen, and also the muscles between the ribs. Obviously, the patients would die if they were not able to breathe, so they'd be put in an iron lung for a period of anywhere from a couple of weeks to their whole life. Some people spent over 50 years in an iron lung. Now, the way it worked, we'll turn it on so you can actually see it running. We have a model here, basically, that shows exactly how it works. The patient's head would be represented by the black knob here. The diaphragm here would be represented by this diaphragm and the red balloon would be the lungs. So when the diaphragm pulled out, it would put air into the patient's lungs, and it would push air out of the patient's lungs when it went in. And that's basically the same way that your own diaphragm and your body works. Of course, you have to appreciate that the pe these were used before the days of uh, uh, availability of television, so that people in there would be pretty isolated. Uh, their hands would be within the iron lung, so they could not read books, they could not do anything like that. Their only contact with the outside world basically was looking at the mirror above their head here. If they needed care, bathing, the nurses would go ahead and use these airlocks, which would seal around the wrist so it would not interfere with the patient's breathing. And of course, for other purposes, they would use this port and they would insert a bedpan as needed. So we have to appreciate today with the ability of immunizations, we don't have to deal with iron lungs and we don't have to have people concerned about maybe spending 50 or 60 years of their life in one of these. So uh, it really shows the importance of maintaining immunizations in children. Thank you.